bit of cloud cover overhead, but thankfully we aren't expecting any rain. Well, given these conditions, it looks like this is going to be a pretty scrappy match. Gary Lyon joins me for this match. Welcome, Gaz. Thanks, Hello. It's great to be here. Tonight, it's Gold Coast at home against Geelong. run on in full confidence they're looking sharp and the crowd are appreciating it i'm really looking forward to seeing how they play today you're right Hutto. We play the game as it should be played and no far away. it's a big day for geelong forwards if they can get on top of the gold coast defense they'll go a long way to winning the game Run on in full confidence, they're looking sharp, and the crowd are appreciating it. The cheer squad's hard work is paying off. The banners are looking great. Captains of both sides make their way to the middle for the coin toss. The Cats winning the toss. Round five. Coming into this game with some poor form. Well, we all know who should get the job done, but its shaping is a very interesting matchup. Both sides look ready to get into the action just moments away now. Tap down. McDonald down. Dishes it off. Quick hands, and they could be away here. McMahon turns a free kick. Ivy marks in a bit of space. Chose to kick it. Gain some territory. Just sneaks in from behind. Geelong lead by one. Caslay to bring it in. Plays it on. Works the ball out of the 50. Marks now and can send it back. 50 metres out. Cranston with the opportunity. Drifts wide to go through for a behind. Geelong beginning to apply their supremacy on the scoreboard with a lead of two. Zero. Kicks it out of the back half. Doing well to intercept that kick. Kicks inside the 50. She takes the mark. 50 metres from home. Lining up from a 45 degree angle. Going for goal number one. Morrison slams it home from long range. Congratulated by her teammates. Geelong gets the first goal on the board. It hasn't always been clean, but they've got the goal. That came off the back of some good work further up the ground. Wins the ruck duel. Doing well was McMahon. We'll have another ball up. What can you tell us, Gaz? I'm loving what this game is giving us right now. Hickey puts the handball out in front. Hurried kick. Just gets it onto the boot. Ball collected. There'll be a ball up close to goal. One it down. Pure gets on the end of this. Showing some really good pressure there. Ends up marking uncontested. Cranston just threw it. Puts boot to ball. Intercepts the ball well. Geelong have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of their game if they're to stay on top. Boyd does well to mark. Boyd has resources out wide. Chips it towards half forward. Bala runs after this one. 
Scoops up the ball. Ernst was taken high in the tackle. Puts it on the boot. Couldn't complete the mark. Collects the loose ball. Skinner gets the loose ball. Fantastic pressure there. Van der Heuvel going for number one. Geelong supporters delighted by that effort. Celebrating hard. The Cats have kicked back-to-back -back goals. The lead is now 14. Punched away. Has it now. Fights the good fight. Releases the handball. She likes her chances from here. She drives it towards goal. Geelong by 15 points. Ernst with the responsibility of kicking it in. She seems to be struggling at this stage. It might be time for a break. Stuck the mitts out there and held on to it. Clear and kick out of the defensive 50. Wins the race to the ball. A clean pick up. Just put it on the boot. Yorston scoops it up. Is in her possession. Good mark there. Keeps the kick low. A good mark out of the circumstances. It has to be a big kick to get it from there. Yorston going for number one. O'Connor collects the loose ball. She heads for home. Constricted by Rick Williams. Beautiful tackle, Hutto. Look at her, she really enjoyed that one. Gold Coast, get there first. Won the hit out. She gains the possession. Takes that one strongly. Moves the ball along the wing. Nobody can hold on here. Well collected. We'll get a ball up on the wing. Can you tell us anything at the moment, Gaz? This is a classic game we're seeing right now. Hickey won herself a free. Gaz, what are your thoughts on that opening term? The cat started well, now it's time for them to do it for four quarters. Here's Gaz to break down the stats. Geelong have created more turnovers than the opposition. It's creating perceived pressure and allowing them to win the ball back. Thanks for that. The second term ready to get underway. One down. Yorston onto the ball. Watson quickly onto the boot. Slams it onto the boot. Just got the hands in the back there. Yorston gives it a ride. Sinks the slipper into it. Ends up turning this ball over. Moves it by foot. Does well to cut off the kick. Keeps it moving. Drives it inside 50. A big contested grab. 35 metres out. Bit of an angle for this kick. Going for goal number one. So close, but just a behind. It's under two goals now. Mick Williams weighing up the options now. Hacks it forward. A chance to put one through here for Gold Coast. Might be too far out to score. Going for goal number one. Doesn't get near the goals there. She's kicked it out on the full. With a driving kick. 
takes the mark all by herself. The Cats are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. She couldn't get the hand pass away, so she just threw it. She takes aim. Now they've got to sit up and find a way to stop the ball movement. Just two goals in it. Considering the options on the kicky, she looks like she needs a spell. Decides to kick. Strong mark in the contest. Got boot to ball. Good body work to win the mark. Chips it towards half forward. Strong with the body and wins the mark. Bella will have to put everything into this one. Move it on. She decides to go for home. She bangs it through. She's excited about that one. The slimmest of margins in this. Thumps it clear. She's got the football now. Handball finds Watson. Done. Applying physical pressure. Puts on a big hit. The ball mopped up. O'Connor rushes with the kick. O'Connor just too high with the tackle. Goes by foot. Worked hard to get on the end of that. Drives the kick hard. Well taken at ground level. Just handballs into space. Hit the man hard. O'Connor wins the foot race. Hands that ball to the opposition. A drop punt through the goals. Her teammates rush over. They're in front. That goal will be a real confidence boost. You can see that she's up and about now. It's great to watch her. Though. Plenty of excitement. Gold Coast could have actually turned it over more than the opposition, but they haven't allowed that to translate into scores. It's why they're still in front. Bala pushes their opponent off with one hand. Finds this and marks well. Uses it now. Takes a nice mark. She can put it through. A chance to gather the ball. Alex to kick. Gathers it now. The umpire will ball it up. What can you tell us at this stage, Gary? This is a great game, Hutto, and we can just sit back and enjoy it. Good mark and looks to send it back. Fans crossing their fingers, hoping she can put this one through the big sticks. A strong pack mark. 35 metres out. The kick comes close, but is offline. Gold Coast had the lead by a kick. An intriguing first half as it stands. Gold Coast 21, played Geelong 15. The Suns have controlled the play well and deserve this lead at halftime. Anything to add, Gaz? Geelong are trying to control the play on the outside, but they might be overusing the ball a bit at times. Playing more direct might help them. Thanks for that, Gaz. Well, that's the first half of the match. Come back in a few minutes and we'll have plenty more footy to play. Second half action about to commence. Punches it clear. Just releases the ball quickly onto the boot. Parker gets on the end of this. Moves the ball by foot. Took her eyes off the ball. Hacking it out of there. She drives it towards goal. Going for goal number one. you just got to do better there. The Suns by seven. Mick Williams. Players move as they look to provide an option. Marking in space was McDonald. Punches the kick. Ernst works onto that ball. Uses it by foot. Roberts runs onto the field. We'll get a ball up on the wing. The game has tightened right up. Thump clear. 
The umpire calls for a stoppage. Clears the contest. Well picked up. O'Connor needs a chance to rest. Couldn't quite with the mark. Fighting hard was McDonald. Picks up the loose ball. Gehring hacking it out of there. Stands tall and marks. Parker drives it long. Easily takes the mark. Gold Coast have the lead, but they're allowing plenty of opposition marks inside 50. They need to fix up that aspect of the game if they're to stay on top. Lining up now, directly in front. She likes her chances from here. Offline for a behind. Gold Coast, Govic Geelong, but eight. Mick Williams assessing the options, using every ounce of energy she has left. Goes with the kick, an easy grab for Ivy. Slams it on the boot. Can't take possession. Morrison there to mop up. Dishes it off to a player on the run. Just sends it into space. She's got the footy in her hands. She gets her hands on the footy. Has to do better than that in the mark contest. Kick by Gehring. It's marked by Kirk. Gold Coast just aren't running for each other or creating space to work into. And as a result, they haven't been able to earn many set shots inside 50. Garner thumped it clear. A chance to put one through for her side. She takes aim. A bad finish results in the behind. Gold Coast. Clee is now nine. Mick Williams to bring it back into play. She's worked hard and probably needs a chance to rest. McDonald takes the mark. I haven't seen her for a while, Gaz. You're right, Hutto. She's gone missing lately. Sometimes you just sit back and enjoy the show. Look at them celebrate that effort. Gold Coast starting to exert some dominance now. They lead 30 to 15. Picks it up. Releases the handball. Looks up with the kick. Wasting a lot of effort there. Brilliant chase. Virgo throws the ball away. Gary kicks it. Picked up now. Not many touches of the ball for her. Sees it out of play. Anything standing out at the moment for you, Gaz? I'm liking what I'm seeing at the moment, Hutto. A great game of football. Virgo goes for goal. That one will really lift them. She's absolutely loving it, and why not? They increase their lead. She acknowledges the crowd. Swatson takes possession. Looks like the ball will be coming back. Pentman moves it now. Takes a strong mark. Goes short by hand. Gets around the imaginary opponent. Watson will be the recipient of the free. Looks to move. We have one quarter left to play. What caught your eye, Gary? Gold Coast believe they can win this game. It's time to show it. What do the stats tell us, Gaz? Geelong giving themselves a chance on the turnover, but they can't seem to be putting it on the scoreboard. Thank you very much, Gaz. One quarter of footy to go. Oh, they're going to take some risks now. They can't afford to waste any time. Hammers it. Clear free. Just put both hands in the back. McDonald elects to kick. McDonald found a way to mark that one. Slams it on the boot. Taylor presents and takes the mark. Geelong fans would love to see this one sail through. Move it on. Going for goal number one. No issues with that drop punt. 
A time to celebrate. And don't they get around? Taylor. Geelong. Get it back under three goals. Boyd gets onto the ball. She's leading the ranking points. She's dominating this game. Keeps it moving. Boyd just threw it. They're doing really well to choose some time off the clock here. Coughed up by Roberts. A quick handball from McDonald. O'Connor goes with the kick. Gets into a good position to take that. Oh, what a goal! Clark enjoying that goal. The Cats reduce the margin. They're looking more dangerous inside 50 now. Great reward for effort. Some great ball movement there. Just knew they were going to score. Gold Coast could have been giving the opposition a chance to move the ball around freely, which is working because they're getting on top once they force a contest. Tackle knocks the ball loose. This is Morrison. She has the ball. We'll get a ball up on the wing. The players will be feeling the heat right now. Thrashes it. Gathered by Bella. Bella earns a free kick. Decides to kick. Missed the target. Just threw the ball. Looks to move it by foot. Taken well at ground level by Yorston. Garnet was taken high in the tackle with a driving kick. Intercepted by Roberts. Holding the ball! What a tackle! Great attack on the ball carrier. Running hard to take that was Boyd. Gold Coast haven't been able to set up many set shots at goal, but I'm not sure that it's the forward's fault. The ball has been coming in way too slow. You can't expect your forward to kick a winning total that way. Finding the loose ball was Hewitt. Boyd with a poor kick out of play. Watson uses it by foot. Gets a quick kick away. Hewitt is blowing hard after that effort. Sinks the slipper into it. A chance to reload the attack now. Moved on by Kirk. Under pressure, but keeps it alive. Unfortunately, not for long as the ball goes out. Ball tossed back in. Punches it clear. Mops up the loose ball. She puts it out on the full. Goes by foot. Nice mark under pressure. Gold Coast are allowing too many marks inside the opposition forward 50. If they continue to get beaten in this area, they'll find it difficult to keep the lead. With the ball now. Got the hands free. Takes possession. Ends up turning this ball over. Kirk has resources out wide. Takes a simple grab. She spears the ball. The ball ends up going to ground. Hickey just put it on the boot. Finds a way to keep it alive. She's got the football now. She slots this one. A big goal there. She's enjoying that goal. Geelong now only trailed by three. Winning it was Boyd. Needs a bit of a rest. Misses her target by hand. McMahon squeezed the handball through. And the mark will be paid. McWeans works the ball out of the 50. Terrific mark there. Moves it by foot. The mark has been taken. A low stabbing kick. Ball spills. An incredible victory. They were down at one stage and rallied and fought back to win. A massive missed opportunity for Geelong. They got themselves into a good position and then just fell apart at the seams. A really disappointing result. Final scores at 5, 6, 36 to 5, 3, 33. That's all for today on behalf of myself, Gary Lyon. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you again soon.